Hello guys, this is Abhinendra and welcome to CG Artist Academy. I am back with a new tutorial. How to create a simple but appealing scene in Blender. Just like I have uploaded two days back, which you can see again here. So this is the scene which today we are going to achieve because I believe it's not always compulsory to create something big you can create a simplicity and which will look almost better so just start blender and start the project okay so open your blender scene and first get rid of this cube we don't need that and this lamp as well okay so this is the scene and before starting let's save the file because it's a good habit to save or uh, create your project directory before starting anything uh, it's very helpful so I have created the project folder which is uh, project hope and I'm will be giving this name project hope version 001 okay it's better to create a your file name as versions okay so file is saved now so uh, first I need to import some image planes or images on which I'm going to uh, create my model the model of the lamp I strongly suggest you to uh, search on web to find something you want to create some different kind of look if you want like a uh, different lamp model okay so I am going to use this reference this image okay we are I'm going to create this uh, model you can find on, on your on your own on the Google obviously so let's go to the blender and press N to get the properties and just here you can see this background images click on that it image and open and I'm going to my references and we'll be using the second one open it and you can see you don't see anything so to see anything first we have to go to orthographic uh, view okay now we have press 5 to go to your orthographic view and uh, now press 1 to the front view and now you can see the image I imported you can see that you cannot see in the perspective view so remind uh, remind that okay so now I want to place this image a bit upper so go to again the properties in the properties of your background images and this value here you can increase this so it can be around uh, maybe 2.5 not 2.5 is not enough so 3 maybe maybe 5 yeah exactly 5 it's just on the grid so so every part of it's looking maybe um, cylindrical so we are going to use a cylinder for this so two option you have you can go to create and create the cylinder or you can press on your keyboard shift plus a and go to your mesh and cylinder and for this I will be using without caps which you can see right here okay so go to your again orthographic view press 5 and 1 okay so we have the cylinder now and just place it here and uh, 
press Z to go to your wireframe mode and scale press S to scale and drag your mouse it will be around here yeah again press S to scale a bit yeah it's good yeah place it over here and uh, go to this the transformation scale manipulator and just click here around maybe it's looking pretty good now and uh, okay so match the exact exactly here uh, which may be yeah okay it's maybe yeah here and now we are going to add some loop cuts so press tab and press A or twice on your keyboard to deselect everything and control R to edge loop and scroll and when you are going when you're scrolling you can see the loops are increasing so maybe I need mm, yeah six is enough for me right now we will add more later press enter twice so that they are already placed in our model okay again press tab okay now our loops are here so now press control and drag the mouse to select these vertices place it around here maybe first here and uh, again press A to deselect and select these by pressing control and dragging the mouse okay it's here repeat the options again and here again here maybe and this one is here and it and I'm going to leave it around the middle of it here which I can manipulate later so it's looking pretty good now and just a bit here okay so now we need to extrude to get this uh, bevel type look so uh, go to your face mode by selecting this option this one and uh, control again and drag the mouse and you can see now the faces are selected and press E to extrude and scale yeah and enter to see yeah it's kind of inside it and again do the same here mm. select this scale oops sorry E and then S to scale Here, it's not working for this so what I'm gonna do is mm, first I'm gonna fill this gap over here go to your edge mode select this and control E and select this option edge loops and F so that it will it will fill it for you then again go to your press when one to go to your orthographic view faces and just select again everything e scale and now you can see it's working yeah so place it around over here we kind of need this type of uh, feel okay to so look our model look like this okay so now select those faces 
and E and scale again a bit. Yeah. Okay. Kind of this. And uh, press A. And which we can see, yeah. Uh, it's looking pretty good now. Press again one. And control S to save. Please save your file whenever you got the chance because sometimes the render crashes and you will lost your unsaved data. So now I'm going to add a modifier to show how it's looking when it's going to smooth. So go to your uh, modifier tab which is the little wrench here. Okay, so add modifier and go to Hmm. Subdivide, yes, yes, subdivide, yes. Okay, so it's not looking that I want. So we are going to add some more edge loops to get the believable look of our reference image. So around one, and again, we are going to in our tap to edit mode and select vertices option over here and now select your vertices these and press here and press select these and here and now select the middle one and the scale press s to scale and maybe around here and now we are going to add some loops Control R, single enter and drag your mouse so it will travel according to your mouse okay so place it here now again press R and here Control R, enter, drag your mouse here and repeat the same control R here control R enter drag here okay so let's see how it's looking now again press tab okay now you can see by pressing again Z to see the our solid mode you can see it's looking pretty same like our reference so again press 1 Z2 wireframe mode and subdivisions of view change it to 0 because we need to add some more loops some more adjustments okay so again press ctrl R double enter to press and scale to around here and again go to here control R double enter and S to scale and maybe here okay so it's kinda complete here with this now select these vertices by control and dragging mouse and uh, maybe around here okay and when you are going to see in a smooth mode we are seeing this kind of look so we have to get it get rid of this all this also so um, tap disable this and go to your uh, face mode select the space and extrude press E to extrude and scale and drag your mouse inward okay so maybe here and again press E and scale now when we smooth this and you can see that weird look just gone okay so so 
Okay, now again uh, we need to adjust these uh, upper portion of this handle of the lamp. So again view to zero and select this one edge, go to your edge option here and select edge, control E and select edge loops and again press F to fill the hole okay now again select the faces and press 1 to go your front view and press Z to see in wireframe so what I'm gonna do is switch off the visibility and you can see the upper upper portion of this lamp is um, kind of joined in this the lower handle of it okay so we need uh, to create one more extrude so press tab to edit mode and select your upper face which is this yes and just press E to extrude and S to scale and press invert a bit maybe around it and again press 1 to your front view and extrude again press E and drag your mouse upwards so it will appear and uh, extrude in Z axis maybe around press enter and again press E and drag it upwards around here so our motive is to uh, fill this upper uh, portion of the lamp fitted in this okay this one so just control tab maybe we need a loop here control sorry tab control R enter and maybe a loop here okay so our lower portion is almost done I think just one more thing to do we need to add a loop here also yeah here okay so control R and place it around here and now I can see again tab yeah it's looking kinda cool so our lower portion of the lamp is completed let's make the upper one okay so again press one and just click on this to disable the visibility and just concentrate on the upper part of the lamp so again we are going to take a cylinder again and yes we need the same cylinder we used in the earlier press 1 Z to wireframe mode S to scale and around here just match the proportion of the upper portion okay okay yeah it's around over here and again go to your translation translator uh, manipulator okay and scale it around here so match up here okay okay yes maybe scale a bit press s to scale and drag mouse invert yes okay so now uh, I'm gonna uh, fill the upper upper side of this uh, cylinder so press tab to edit mode go to your edge mode which I am already in and control E to select edge loop 
select here edge loops and press F okay guys so just see yeah now press 1 to your front view and now select your face and our face is already selected or you can select the upper face which we just created so can press E to extrude and place around here enter and S to scale a bit like that again press E to extrude a bit upper enter scale repeat that until you get up the upper edge of the difference again scale edge extrude for E as to scale again E to extrude enter scale E maybe around here <coughs> sorry and the scale to it here and again E maybe here maybe a bit here okay now we reach to the top and shift press middle mouse to uh, drag your view okay so uh, now a space is selected we have to create this this middle um, pipe so just press E to extrude sorry press E to extrude then S to scale a bit inward then again E scale and maybe around here and go to your front view which is this and uh, E okay it's a bit higher control Z again press E to extrude and again scale a bit inward maybe a bit more and press 1 to your front view press E and now you can see uh, you can create the, this pipe this kind of look okay so I'm going to achieve this by following this curvy lamp or you can dry, draw uh, um, on your own if you're good in modeling so I'm going to create this press again E press Z to wireframe mode which you can see a bit good now E to extrude and again okay, now we have to slightly here so for this I am not going to um, achieve just like this because uh, in the end we have to rotate our lamp a bit so we need a more curvy look like something here okay so I am not going to use my this uh, reference image to do that I will uh, draw it by my own you can create it by, by on your own or you can use some curve or uh, refer image reference of the curvy look like this okay so I'll be using I'm not using anything I'm just creating by my own own so just E again extrude just follow the symmetry go to your edge mode sorry vertex mode and select this one and here now sorry shift C to place your 
cursor at center again select your vertices and maybe here around and control to select all these now go to your again face mode and uh, select your face okay one now again press e to extrude enter and something like this maybe or again go to your vertex mode we are going to adjust some look of it so control left mouse click and drag so select all these things yes around here again this maybe around here and this last one maybe around here okay okay so now we are going to again go to your face mode select this face maybe upper face yes and extrude 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 just see how far it's going in our real model extrude extrude over here yes it's looking kind of good switch it back off and you can go through it just to okay so again extrude and this time we are going to rotate it press R and drag your mouse a bit here and then shift over here a bit again E to extrude and press here okay you have to draw well okay guys you have to draw well to just get the exact look press R to rotate again E go here maybe around here rotate E again and uh, maybe around here yeah okay and rotate once again to get the same look maybe rotate a bit yes E to extrude and again now we have to rotate once again up down not down a bit just extrude one more time around here now rotate press R to rotate and again extrude maybe here again we are we will um, adjust these this look uh, later just first we have to create the rough shape okay and it's really easier if you are going to um, create this with a reference image of any curve okay so find that because it will be more easier so R to rotate okay mm and again E E Now we are going to adjust some vertices over here now. Now select this one by pressing control, left mouse click and drag. Place it over here, maybe around here, here, here maybe. Yes. 
it's kind of looking cool you can create um, more accurate when you're going to do this okay so it's kind of this yeah yeah this is the field we are going to achieve okay so when it's done press set to go to your solid mode and let's do one more thing add your one loop one more loop here control r yes now set to your solid mode add a modifier go to your modifier tab and uh, add modifier solid subdivision faces and just look at this this is looking pretty good now yes so we need uh, some adjustment here control R yes so yes it's looking cool yeah it's kind of look we are going to achieve uh, maybe a few adjustment maybe Lift, control select around here maybe a bit maybe sorry mm. okay yeah so you can you can go far and just when if you want for this it's looking pretty good I think you can see it's we are almost very close to the final look of the of our model okay so again control s to save your project so we are almost done here I think and uh, press when and the scale a bit press s to scale and yes maybe here and bit inside yes cool it's looking cool yeah okay so we are now here and now we are going to achieve this the last option the last thing the bulb and its holder so let's create that very quickly because we have a lot to do again uh, take a cylinder this which is here right now maybe delete uh, not, not don't delete that okay press Z to wire from what scale and place it over here mm, yes exactly here because we are create we are going to create it in two parts so maybe around here and again go to your translation scale manipulator tab and around here place it just here okay press tab to the edit mode and first we are going to add some loops one here control R enter drag your mouse around here and uh, okay that's it for now now select this edge this sorry uh, what is this last in uh, the down vertices scale maybe yeah around here and drag it around maybe here control R again and press here scale inside a bit Control R again, scale, maybe scale, yeah, something like this, and again, Control R, 
scale a bit around here and control not control again tab okay this is looking good again tab to in a edit mode control r here mm, maybe here scale a bit inside select the upper vertices and scale it maybe here yeah something like that and control R again place it here scale outside control R again so control scale be around here okay so now control R again and this time enter and scale yes something like this scale yes control R again here and scale a bit here control R again and scale okay it's it's very close to we are going to achieve and control R again enter double enter and now scale maybe here same thing here scale and here so now select these of our vertices and scale a bit inside maybe again select these vertices and scale okay so control R again and now see how it's looking tab go to your modifier add subdivision modifier okay it's looking almost there we are almost there to achieve what we want so now add a few more loops one here one here oops sorry control R here one here to get the uh, a bit hard edge look okay and now see how it's looking set yes absolutely this is what we are going to achieve yeah we are almost done here so so now we are going to create to the lower part of that which is this so again take a cylinder again and place it over here press Z obviously and scale yeah scale around first match this one yes Go to your manipulator tab and uh, maybe scale in the y axis a bit and take it around here. Okay, press tab to in your edit mode and first control R, make a loop here, one loop maybe here okay and let's let's create that uh, maybe control Z we don't, don't need that so 
select this vertices and press S to scale and around here maybe drag it over here yes okay now control R press here scale a bit press R maybe here enter and S for scale press R again enter double enter to apply and control R again double enter then scale yeah it's almost this is almost completed control R to drag it around here control R control R again and yes it's almost completed now this is completely like this so select go to your edges and select one edge and control E and select edge loops F to fill tab to get out your edit mode again tab to your edit mode and select your faces option and go to your faces <coughs> sorry and E to extrude scale okay again E to extrude and scale okay it's almost done here and just apply the subdivision modifier and it's pretty much done but one thing left is we have to give this um, what we say a solidify uh, modifier to get the thick look okay but before that one more thing we have to do is press that and control go to edit mode edges and control R place it over here and just select the lower faces to get the this um, extruded look which is coming out which you can see just um, a minute select your faces and press E to extrude and scale outside a bit maybe little less yeah something like this and then scale it down. sorry yeah it's almost okay now Z to your solid mode and again we are going to add a solidify mode solidify and now it's looking pretty good okay so it's almost done here let's see all the more things we have modeled so far okay so let's uh, place exactly in the position select this and go to here maybe and kind of this so you get the idea of the whole thing how I created this so the last thing is left is bulb then we are going to create a texturing and then particles and a final look so I will see you in the next part of the tutorial the second part okay